Please review this entire assembly process for the EC35 before beginning to assemble the encoder. Begin by slipping the EC35 base over the motor's tail shaft. Place the two base plate mounting screws into the motor's mounting holes and do not tighten. Slide the centering tool over the motor shaft and align to the EC35 base. While pressing down on the centering tool, verify the base is engaged with the centering tool to ensure concentric alignment of the encoder base to the center line of the motor shaft. Maintain downward pressure on the centering tool and tighten the two mounting screws. Remove the centering tool and reserve for use with other encoders. Align the EC35 optics assembly over the motor shaft so the shaft begins to enter the encoder's hub. For the EC35 cable to exit in a predetermined location after commutation alignment, the rotor of the motor must be in a known location where the U-winding would normally be activated. One common way to locate the motor rotor is to energize the motor's U-winding. Once the motor rotor is in location, confirm the mark on the encoder hub is oriented in the desired direction for proper cable exit. If it is not aligned properly, remove the optics assembly and carefully rotate the center hub and begin this step again. Press the EC35 optics assembly on the shaft until the assembly snaps to the base plate. Be sure to press firmly near the cover through hole to ensure proper seating of the encoder optics. Caution! Do not press directly on the encoder connector as this may damage it. Remove the encoder spacer tool to free the hub disk assembly. The EC35 encoder is now properly gapped and ready for alignment. Attach the cable to the encoder. Note, if you are not using the commutation outputs of the EC35 encoder, please disregard the next four steps. To begin dynamic commutation alignment, apply power to the encoder and connect the motor's U winding and the encoder's U output channel to separate channels of an oscilloscope. Note, our QSB product may be used in place of an oscilloscope to complete the timing process. Use a second motor to backdrive the target motor and rotate the encoder until the two signals are aligned. A full 360 degree encoder rotation allows any instance of the U winding to be located. If you are not using the commutation output signals, resume the EC35 assembly. After the encoder is timed, use the supplied tool to push down the external locking ring until it bottoms out. Note, use caution not to rotate the encoder. The EC35 encoder is now locked into position and cannot rotate. Remove the supplied tool and reserve for use with other encoders. Finally, if your application requires better ingress protection, apply the provided cover to plug the encoder through hole. The EC35 encoder is now properly installed and ready for operation.